Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to take you along on two of my calls today where I diagnosed problems that I'm going to be fixing next week. And on both of these, another company had been out there before me. And on both of these, I got the job. Stay tuned. Well, y'all gonna need another one. Yeah. I'm gonna check it outside real quick. All right. Let's see what we got. Contactors pulled in. I sincerely hope we ain't got a serious problem here. <clears throat> Disconnect is off. See that? Somebody has turned it off. Let's take a look down deep inside. Compressor still hooked up. All right, we're just gonna test to ground. Mm. Five mega ohms. <laughs> oh my God. Let me make sure I don't have power. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's open up the top on this thing. This is one that I installed it can't be that long ago two thousand nineteen so it's been five years now mm. Time's flying. You got a good ground. I do not know how well you can see. I'm putting my finger and the probe on one of the leads. And touching the ground. I got 3.2 mega ohms that will trip a breaker. Three point two megahertz. And lastly, four point four. 
Well, I'm gonna try to get my measure out, and we're gonna. I don't check. need to check it with this, but I'm gonna show you. Basically, anything below 30 or 20 mega ohms is gonna be bad. And I was reading 3.2. It is really tight quarters to try to get a suction filter in there. A little bit too tight. There's no good spot. Because this is the cooling season, what I may do is just put one in right here. And tell them we're going to have to come back and remove it. But yep. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be doing a compressor in the coming days. I'm going to look. Look at this coal real quick. Make sure this condenser pull is not why I'm here. No, I can see through it. Hey guys, I'm on a call well, at a customer's house where I've been to before and um, the customer is stating that another company came out and diagnosed a TXV and the estimate was exorbitant. So let's see if we can diagnose, confirm, or see what's going on first. So stay tuned. All right, they have it turned off. Looks like this right here is still holding up. Hold on a sec. Let me turn that off and get some probes on here before the thing. Y'all forgive me. I don't mean to yank the camera around like that. I'm glad to see this is still doing good. Whew. If I'm not mistaken, I think a TXV is what I replaced when I was out here the last time. All right, let's turn it back on. It went out on low pressure. I think 
Let's make sure that breaker didn't fail. So far, what I've seen makes me think it might be the TXV is pumping down. Yeah, we got power. All right, here we go. One last thing to check is you can tell somebody else has been out here. They sprayed refrigerant all over everything. Make sure we have low pressure on true suction as well. Alright, let's just go up top and take a look at Let's just go up top and take a look at the air handler and the TXV. I think these are all bolt in, so should be fairly easy. Now I'm pretty sure that the um, TXV is the reason I was up here last time.
let's get her a quote so i guess y'all know what i'm going to be doing next week yeah i think monday i'm doing a compressor i don't mean the video is coming out monday but um monday doing the compressor and wednesday the txv i had to order the txv but the compressor's in town i hope y'all enjoyed and by the way on that txv the company before me their quote was over twice as much as mine was and i had a fair quote i mean i wasn't skimping and still theirs was over twice as much that's how it is thanks for watching guys if you enjoy these videos how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one